Hello, welcome to Clarity Design. Uh, we're looking at uh, the idea of pre-composition today and I've got a couple of things set up ready to go. We're going to get straight into it. We're on After Effects CC um, and uh, I've got a pre-made uh, composition here. Let's just open this one up. Um, so this is something I uh, just made quickly to show the kind of fun effects that you can have um, by using this uh, by using this way of grouping layers together and playing around with them so I just made something very simple there that we could uh, we can see some kind of effects that we can play around with so um, what I did uh, was I've started off uh, just starting in the middle a little bit here to save some time but I've started off by animating you can see the front circle which is white and the back circle which is a darker gray and all I've done is animate one moving across to the other now to get an increased sense of depth on that I can right click uh, here and I can use these uh, effects and layer styles that we've got uh, very similar to Photoshop so uh, I'm going to layer style this is on the right click um, with the layer selected and I can do a drop shadow now that's just going to help me um, let's just go into that because all the layers selected if I change one it will change all of the layers so in just there I'm going to increase the distance not too much just increase the distance a little bit there um, and we can change the spread a bit so have a play around with that um, size. There we go. So I've got something nice going on. So um, I can close all those up again. Um, so now I've got uh, layers. I've got them uh, with shadows looking quite nice. The animation is working pretty well. If I wanted to play around with uh, what that animation looks like, again, select all of them. I'm just going to uh, add an easy in and ease out on those. Uh, keyframes so right click keyframe assistant and easy ease um, and again you can do the same with the position on each of these so pressing P will bring up the position slider oh, this one hasn't got any animation it's the middle layer so it doesn't move um, and again this layer P and select those and right click and keyframe assistant easy ease so that's just going to help it kind of speed up and slow down nicely so if we look at the graph editor you can see now there's some nice curves going on here um, it'll just look a little bit nice as it plays through uh, slows down speeds up towards the beginning um, makes it a little bit less jarring so um, we've got uh, we need to make a text layer so this is going to be our layer that says shift so I just right click to make a text layer there um, shift okay um, and that one can be over here um, and we can drag that up now when you are rescaling using the shift key actually really helps quite a lot um, to hold things in proportion so I'll move that into the middle there we can see shift is now over the top of the text now that looks all right let's get rid of this um, graph so that looks okay but obviously what I wanted to do was actually put some of this animation inside the shift now there's this thing called a track map you won't have this display Your, yours will be like this if it is when you open the uh, when you open the composition the first time so switching between toggle modes um, and switches um, so uh, we've got various options here this is three-dimensional layers we're not interested in that at the moment um, what we're interested in is track mat um, and the ability to track map. Now if I put this onto track map alpha this doesn't do exactly as I wanted it to do um, obviously it's cutting off some of the outside edge um, and uh, and it's showing us something that's not quite right. To get track map to work across all the layers um, we need to pre-compose this stuff um, so let's switch that off. Pre-composing is very similar to you have to switch that visibility that layer back on um, when you switch that track mat off. Yeah, sorry, pre-compose is uh, the ability to group layers together and to compress them into kind of one visual layer in this composition. It's very easy to do on the right click. You can pre-compose down there um, and also inside layer you can do a pre-compose as well. Sorry, it is here. There it is down there. Uh, you can do a pre-compose as well. You need to have the layers selected to be able to do it. So, right click Pre-compose. It's going to ask you this question uh, where it's saying, do you want to move all the attributes to a new composition? The answer is uh, yes, you do. Uh, that's going to move it and it's opened it for me. I've now got pre-composition 3. Let me just close that down. It's here. Okay, I've got pre-composition 3. It's got my layers in it and I can continue to animate and change those now. So if I want to do something else, if I want to manipulate them, I can do um, and it will have an effect on my main composition, which is here. Now here's where it gets interesting because I've got a main composition here 
Um, let's just uh, let's just show you this. So uh, if I switch on the track mat now, I should get yeah. There we go. I've got it so that the animation is now happening inside um, the uh, typography, which is just what we wanted. Um, so that's fine. Obviously, I've lost the circles in the background, and so you think, well, actually, I want to. This this could be very much more complicated, much more easily. And now I've got this pre-composition. I've got this animation, if you like, safe or able to edit if I want. Um, then I could start editing this uh, when I make a change to this one. Let's just when I make a change to this, it will make a change to. Um, what we can see in here immediately so it immediately makes that change um, but I can also grab a copy of it control C control V so I've now got pre-comp 4 pre-comp 4 is the same so I'll double click I'll open it it's exactly the same as pre-comp 3 at the moment so let's just change this a little bit um, and we'll make that uh, red and we'll make the back layer um, some other color, maybe a different color blue, see what that looks like. And the middle layer, we'll just change that color as well. And we'll make that one some kind of purpley color between the two. Okay, lovely. Um, so now I've got kind of a multicolored pre comp. Now that won't have affected this because it's pre comp four, not three. And three is the one that's linked. And I can now drag pre comp four in, and I've now got this lovely animation shift of colors. Uh, as well, so it's quite a powerful tool for generating some fun effects with um, with layers, and you can see how my final composition that I'm going to render out actually looks very simple with just three layers that I can play around with. Um, so two important skills there: the pre-composition um, and the alpha track map, which you can use. But remember, it only affects the layer that's directly below it. Uh, thank you for listening, and have a good day.